Sometimes we can let the most basic daily things inspire us, like the seasons or the weather. It's almost springtime, and soon we'll see flowers everywhere, and flowers can be a perfect art subject. They are complex and plentiful, and as George O'Keefe once said, they don't move. And using them for inspiration for work for your art portfolio with all the colors and textures can make for really fascinating work. Studying and drawing or painting or sculpting the forms of flowers will actually help you to understand human anatomy better, making you a more stronger, more skillful artist. One way to start is to create several sketches of the same flower from different points of view, from above, below, the sides, the front, or the back. Also try to do a very close-up sketch. Drawing a flower first in pencil or with an ink pen or even just black and white paint is also a helpful exercise and will help you to see the forms, highlights, and shadows more clearly. It can also be helpful to create a dramatic light source. You can set up an easel in a garden or a park or go to a flower shop and hand select the types of flowers that appeal to you most. Arrange them however you'd like and then paint or draw your arrangement. You can think of your flower subject as a unique individual with personality and gesture. Once you've studied flowers and details, you can think about how to use them to inspire you to make your art portfolio piece, like these Ashcan Studio Portfolio Prep students did here with these examples. Every art genre in history has used flowers as a subject. Take a look at some examples. Then, once you have a few good ideas, sketch them in your sketchbook, and once you've decided on the best sketch, you can start on your portfolio piece. If you need help making work for your art portfolio, Ashcan's portfolio prep classes are a great place to start. We have online classes now, so no matter where you are, you can develop your skills and ideas with the guidance of our outstanding teachers and programs.